if it's real But when I'm with you I feel A little closer to heaven And yes, you move me that much And I get from your touch A little closer to heaven Okay, so this question is from Elizabeth. Hi Elizabeth, this is your reading. Um, hope you enjoy it. And the question is, I feel a change coming into my life before the end of 2016 or beginning of 2017. Do you feel, do your guides feel it is a new romance or a change of geographic location? Okay, let's just tune in a bit and see. Right, as I look to see what's being given, I have got a sense of a map. So I feel that it's something to do with travel. And when you say a change of geographic location, right, I'm being told to stop there. Um, I'm not hearing um, permanent move. I'm not hearing anything like that. What I'm hearing is outward bound. And that sounds a bit strange. What it looks like and feels like and the vibration with that, <laughs> with that word, it's like someone going travelling kind of with a backpack and just sort of going off on one of those sort of long gap year type experiences, not necessarily staying away in a new location. And of course, it's your free will choice. So this isn't just going to happen or fall out of the sky. This is what I feel you might be considering at the moment, that sort of thing. So when you say change of location, that sounds like a move, like emigrating, but I feel it's more like um, going for a long trip. Right, let's start the timer. Okay, sorry, I have to make sure everyone gets the same amount of time. So, I hope that makes sense for you. Feel your way through that, and you might find that the two things are combined, actually. You might find that there is some other kind of adventure waiting for you on that trip, but I'm not going to say too much. I don't want to influence you. I don't like influencing people. You have free will. You need to make your choice. But it's just giving you a sense of the influences that are around that um, issue for you and it does feel quite exciting you'd have planning to do but you know it does feel good let's have a quick look at the tarot seeing as it was such a specific question so okay that's great that looks really good so we've got some sort of a victory for you um, as being the central focus okay and and so you're looking for the next challenge you're looking for something else you're looking for something that just holds your interest a little bit. I feel like you're also looking to break away from something because you've got in your environment, you've got the devil card, which is often a sign of addiction, a kind of wanting to break through old patterns. I'm not saying you're necessarily addicted to anything, but addictions can be anything. They can be addicted addictions to a rut or a routine or a person or a place or a, a set of fears so you're trying to break out of something you're trying to break free from something and say this isn't who I am anymore and that feels like what is possibly pushing you to have those thoughts about traveling I feel travel is presenting you with a whole fresh new outlook because when I look at this that's what my guides are saying a whole fresh new outlook circumstances changing to create a new outlook and positivity in your life so you're a bit bogged down in your environment at the moment I just feel as if you felt for a little while as if you know nothing's happening nothing's moving it's all a bit samey um, and at the same time you seem to be terrified that things are going to break down around you without your consent or out of your control well i have to tell you sometimes that is what happens so the universe forces us to embrace our destiny you know like if you're you're in a job and you're in a rut and you're you're not you've got this sense of adventure but you've been terrified for a long time you can sometimes be forced out by losing the job or by something else happening i'm not saying that that's what's going to happen i don't give gloomy predictions try to stay away from predictions and empower you to make choices. However, this is what you seem to be afraid of. And at the same time, you're sort of hoping that it happens. You want something to come along and throw you out of the nest, so to speak, because you feel and recognize on some level that it's time for a change. Right, let me just have a quick listen. 
and my guides are saying something about tidying up tidying up so this is um, I think they mean decluttering starting to get into a more minimalist way of seeing things downsizing removing passing on some of your things making decisions like that I feel you've already started this process though because it looks as if there's movement around you but the movement is with things possessions so you know I've got to say my feeling this is that this is already in your heart and mind this idea of going away and and not wanting to feel so bogged down by circumstances things the past maybe a past relationship things like that and I feel that you want to be very much in control of your own situation um, with you know, finances, you want economic stability, you want to be able to feel that life is generous and you want to feel that you can be generous. You need to re-establish yourself on firmer ground. And it's possible that there is going to be some kind of an offer. There is already some kind of an offer around you because it's very central. It's right there now. And I, I just want to clarify things a little bit on that front. I feel that there are possibilities where you are. Right, okay. There are possibilities where you are for taking that life that you already have forward a bit more. And they kind of look quite positive. So, you, you know... You need to consider things very carefully before you make a very clear decision. I do feel, however, that the strong influences here are pushing you towards something completely new that will give you creative input. These cards seem to be sort of wanting to come together in a really interesting way. So it's like, you know, more time and space and a, a clean slate a clean page that allows you to be more creative to think more clearly and possibly to start something new of your own let's just see what we've got in the cards crystal clear intention that's your clean slate get you know when you get rid of the clutter and the noise around you you will start to think more clearly so you've got things around you that are kind of hindering your pro progress a little bit because you've allowed yourself to stagnate and they have been a part of that stagnation healthy lifestyle that comes up again i've just had that in another reading so uh, part of that health for you is i feel health around possessions and letting go of people places and things that are not really for your highest good anymore and i'm not going to tell you what they are that's for you to know um okay uh if I shuffled the card yeah. we've just got the same cards coming up again brilliant idea um, trust yourself trust your ideas your ideas are being divinely guided is what the cards are saying I'm going to pick a message for you from the little book just to make absolutely sure right 43 they're saying 43 what's 43 giving a day to nurture and give love to others. If you feel you have nothing left to give, look up and hold someone within the embrace of your smile until love lifts you both up to a remembrance of what truly matters in life. It's not easy to give when life feels less than perfect. It's not easy to give back when you feel all emptied out. Nevertheless, go out into your community with a smile or a kind word today. Right, and notice how kindness to others feels like kindness towards yourself. So. I feel like you might be thinking of some kind of volunteer project or something. These travel plans, this, um, I'm not, I can't remember how you put it, um, relocation, what did you, a change of geographic location. I don't know whether you've ever thought of going overseas to volunteer or do something that makes you feel that you're giving something back. But that's kind of what it feels like, just going by all of this and going by this message. I don't often get this message coming up, but I have to give it to you because it's what, what's there. It also says a day to let go of old hurts and resentments and to meet new possibilities with kindness, connection and the brave expectations who, of one who has never been hurt or let down before. So it's possible that you've tried other things in the past that are similar to this um, possible journey and you're a little bit guarded and wary wary of doing something like that again because you feel as if it didn't work out but it did work out because it brought you to where you are now and it taught you lots of things about what you really want and who you really are and if it's nothing to do with volunteering um you know i just have to interpret that message for you somehow and say 
focus on the bit about letting go of old resentments and feeling that things are going to repeat themselves. Just pretend that never happened and just move on and just trust yourself to create you know, something new that gives you back that sense of being alive again. That's what's missing. Right, I'm just going to pick the colour card for you as well because I want to see what colours you want to have around you. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, that's perfect. Discover your sparkle. Rediscover your sparkle. You've kind of become bogged down a little bit dull around the edges with this particular uh, way things are. And they're saying don't focus on the emotional connection because if you look for an emotional connection where you are, you won't have the adventure that you're trying to have. It may be that you go for the adventure and then the emotional connection meets you somewhere along the way. You don't want something else that's going to hold you where you are if you are feeling that you want to travel. We're not telling you to travel, I'm just saying that it looks as if you need to shake things up a bit and you need to get that sparkle back. You might decide to just travel locally and, and start dancing, or but I feel it's bigger than that. I feel it's bigger than that and I want to encourage you if you are deciding to do it, because let's face it, you know, it's not about sitting waiting for things to happen. And it's also not about the timing, it's about divine timing and it's about the timing that you create. If this is something that you want to do, you need to follow this. You've got brilliant idea and you've got brilliance. So people very rarely regret doing something like this, you know, going on an adventure like this your instinct about what it could bring into your life, into your being, into your character is right. So trust that and make it happen. Don't wait for it to happen. Okay, I hope that helps you and um, yeah, take care and thank you so much for all your lovely comments and just feel free to share one of the videos or let me know how this resonated for you. All right, bye. It's real, but when I'm with you, I feel a little closer to heaven. And yes, you move me that much, and I get from your touch a little closer to heaven.